just another little progress report on well, the World of War Nazi Zombie Remake. Starting with the zombies on this part, the way they take damage has been changed up. So now each limb, such as legs, hands, torso, head, neck, etc., they all have their own amount of damage that gets applied to the zombies. And as for the headshots, based off of the weapon you have, a different multiplier is added. Another thing, when they are killed, they now properly have impulse. So, for example, let me shoot this one guy out here in the head. You can see, wait, well, kind of hit the other zombie. You can see an impulse is added to the head wherever the round is hit. So if I shoot this guy in the leg, you can see it kicks his leg out from under him. The way you earn points is set up to correspond with order war. So each shot, 10 points, no matter where. But if you get a kill shot at X location, you get, well, that's where your points, more points get kicked in. So kill shot to the head is 100, neck is 70, torso is 60, and the limbs are 50. As for the zombie spawning, that has been set up so there is a max of 24 zombies on the map at one time to match it as well. And more zombies spawn with each round. And another thing you will see here, well, after round 5, once they hit round 5, a percentage of them will start to run. And as the rounds increase up to 10, well, just more and more, a higher percentage of them will be running. So once they hit round 10, all of them are running up until the end of the game. I can't even hit anything. I finally got started on the perk machine. As well as power, as you can see, the power must be activated first. Turn on the power, then you can purchase Juggernaut. This is my first attempt at modeling up anything, and as you can see, it kind of turned out pretty bad. But the Juggernaut does actually work, so it brings your health up from 100 to 250. And each time you get hit, your point—I mean, your health—will uh. Well, it goes down by X amount. So let's say you get hit once and it goes down to 60. Once you're at 60, if you don't take another hit within or any damage within 5 seconds, your health will spike back up to the max health. If it is below 55, then every X milliseconds after that 5 second mark, your health will increase back up to its max health just like War to War does. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say real quick. Oh, right. Uh, based off of War of Wars, the damage, I mean, the health for the zombies is also altered in relation to the, um, well, the round increase. So every round, I can't remember what it goes up to. I believe it's 11. Their health goes up by 100. After that, the health just gets multiplied by 1.1. And it just steadily keeps increasing and increasing. Well, as you can see here, we have our first runner. One, two, three. Three of them out of whatever amount this is. Are running. As well as when they do spawn as runners, they have a random speed between X and X value. So they're set up to be just a little bit slower than the player. But they can be just right on his tail, or they can be a fair amount slower, but you can't really see it here as they're all running together. Now, a couple of things that have been go to full screen. Changed, and I'm debating on replacing this to use uh, animations instead of code. So as you purchase the doors, they have a simple option. You can choose which direction you want them to move to. That was up. i move this one to the left. Well, as you can make them fade in and out. Now, let's say this fades to the left. The time that it takes to fade is based on how far the door needs to move. So, the farther the door needs to move, the slower the door will fade. So, 
This one moves only 300 units, so it's just enough to cover itself. If it were to move, let's say, 3,000, that would take quite a bit of time to fade. It starts and ends according to the door's movement. So we can set that up just to disappear entirely, along with a fade. And as you can see, without a fade, it's just instant. Yeah, that's. I believe that's everything so far since the previous video. If, well, yeah, that's about it. With any luck, next time you'll see some better looking models and textures because, yeah, so right now this is pretty bad. <laughs> and that's also about to the best of my abilities currently. But it's the first time I've ever animated anything, so that's kind of neat.